Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Pocket 2 for the 2019 Advent Calendar Swap. I'm just quickly showing you some handmade embellishments that I've got as some of the presents in my pocket. This is day 10 till 17, so I just had some flare badges there. Uh, I'm just grabbing the tissue paper I'm going to wrap the presents up in. I've got these little mini crepe paper rosettes. I've got this Merry 2019 banner that I've um, used some sequins trim on and then I've got these two giant crepe paper rosettes that I've glittered up around the outside and yep I'm just going to quickly wrap those up on the side and we're going to get started with this pocket. So what I'm doing is grabbing the numbers. I've got some copper glitter numbers. I've got some gold glitter numbers. I also have those um, wood veneer numbers from the last pocket and this one I've painted them with gold because the colour scheme for this pocket is going to be a neutral colour tone with some white, some black, some um, craft, some gold, copper, you know, all those kind of nice natural colour tones. So I'm just going through and putting the numbers down. Uh, I Like I said with the other video, I don't want any numbers to be the same. I'm also grabbing out some craft numbers from my stash. I've had these in my stash for quite a while. I think I actually forgot buying them because I've never used them, which is really strange. I think I should start using these more often because I love using craft numbers in scrapbooking um, recently. So I just quickly trimmed that off to there was a piece that was sticking it off so I'm just using those numbers and then I'll come back once I've got all the numbers ready to go. So I've also grabbed some white foam thickers from my stash and I've also gone through and grabbed out a whole bunch of ephemera pieces from a couple of um, Christmas ephemera packs uh, from my stash. I think this one here that I'm looking at is from Spotlight I believe. Um, yep, you can see that I got this for like a dollar fifty um, last year after Christmas, and then I went through a few of the ones that I got from the reject store. Uh, everything I grabbed out was again neutral tone. So here I am starting to decorate pocket fifteen. I'm going to trim this doily down to um, make like a little kind of like a bag topper to a degree. It doesn't like it's not a bag topper because it's not closing the bag, but um, it's not closing the pocket. Sorry. But I wanted to um, kind of make it look like one. And I started to do it and it wasn't straight. So what I did was I just pulled the piece of paper here out and I'm trimming it down. So I know it will be the exact same size as the pocket because the um, paper in the pocket is obviously the same size. So I'm going to slip that back in and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun like I did with the last video to stick everything down. Now what I'm going to do with this pocket here is one of the pieces, um, the little jar, hanging jar, I actually decide to cut out that white paper because I wanted to see a little bit more of the piece that I'm going to overlay it on. I wanted it to look like that they were kind of hanging off of the doily. So here I am starting to fiddle around with it and I end up grabbing out um, my... Um, like exacto knife, my craft knife, and I'm going to trim that out. Uh, I think, yes, I do do that. I'm going to trim it down, and it's going to be a lot better because you'll be able to see the piece underneath it come out. So I'm using a little bit of foam tape because I wanted it to be slightly dimensional on this one, and I'm just placing it over the top. I'm going to slightly overhang it of the doilies. Um, Again, the only thing I was thinking about with doing this pocket is I wanted it to look like it was hanging. Um, I just sort of had that idea because they're two hanging ones. One of them is a like an ornament with some glitter on it and another one is a hanging jar. Then I'm going to stick down the number 15 and this little pocket is basically done. Um, just so you guys know, this pocket actually took me the longest to decorate. This one took me about... Oh, an hour, an hour and a half, an hour and 20 minutes to do it all up from start to finish. My first pocket only took me about 40 minutes and the second one, sorry, the third one took me about 50-ish. 
minutes. I think this one I got a little bit stuck on because of the fact of the color scheme. So um, I just stuck that down all using hot glue. Everything I stuck down on this page is with hot glue. It dries fast and I trust it with plastic because it's a lot easier and you can also pull it up if my swap partner wants to use some of the things I've, I've stuck down they'll be able to do that so here I was just thinking because I wasn't sure what to do you can see that with my hand movement there I'm going to use this crepe paper here to do a little crepe paper ruffle I'm going to use some double-sided tape I'm going to stick it down right on the pocket pull it off and do the ruffle uh, this is the same technique that I did with the white on the side there that I showed in the uh, the prepping video, getting my pages ready to decorate. I just fold it like an accordion and then trim it off with my scissors. It's a very, very quick technique to do. And I think it makes it look like you've done something really, really tricky. And you've actually done probably one of the quickest and easiest little embellishment techniques there is. Just quickly folding it there. I'm just adding a little bit of double-sided tape to adhere it on that last piece and then I'm going to stick the number down I think oh no I'm using some sequins trim from my stash I'm going to use the hot glue gun just to stick it down the hot glue gun that I have is from spotlight it's purple of course <laughs> if you haven't if you're not uh, a regular watcher of my channel I love the color purple uh, you'll notice on my hands that I have purple rings and I have a purple hot glue gun I have a purple stapler. I love purple. I wish I could get purple scissors, but I can only find pink ones, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to stick down the number... What number is this? I think it's number 14. No, number 13. I'm going to stick that down. Um, when I was doing these pockets, I did sort of a one big cluster for the number, and then I went back at the very end and added some... Uh, tiny phrase stickers and uh, some tiny little embellishments like wood veneer, uh, enamel dots, and I think I added a couple of paper flowers to it, um, all of them in, within the colour scheme of the pocket. I'm going to stick this 11 down. I started off initially by trying to make this a tag because I thought it would be a cute idea to sort of have some tag element, but this doesn't end up staying. I end up changing it. I'm just using a little bit of twine here to um, put through the tag. I generally fold it in four times so that it's uh, a double layer of twine. I just like the way that that looks. So as you can see, there's four strings of twine coming out there. And I was thinking I grab the container of embellishments to go through and pick out a few pieces. This one really, really threw me. I will say that looking back on this one and doing the voiceover, um, when I did the other pocket, because I've just finished pocket three as I'm doing this voiceover, it definitely threw me. I only worked on one pocket at a time for pocket one and pocket two. This one I kind of jump around a fair bit because I didn't know what to do. That tag in the top corner is from Crate Paper. It's not a Christmas collection. It is the Journal Studio one but I'm going to use Christmas embellishments to make it look Christmassy. So I'm just sticking down the tag there and I end up popping off the um, twine in that piece of wood, the wood shaped embellishment and covering it up because I wanted the twine to obviously go through the tag because it's a tag, it should have some twine going through it. Um, but I needed to cover up the hole that I had punched in the wood piece. So I'm grabbing out some wood veneer from my stash and gluing it down because I wanted, I did want a star on top of that tree, which I think I do. I move it. Yeah. I decided to move those um, little rhinestones down the bottom so that I can put the wood veneer piece right on top of the star because a Christmas tree needs to have a star on top of it. What do you guys put on your Christmas tree? We actually have a um, an angel that we put on ours. Um, we do have a star but it doesn't fit very well so we always have this really big angel that we put on top of our tree. So I was just slipping in this piece of paper here because I needed some backing because I didn't want to accidentally glue the um, I didn't want to accidentally glue the page together, so I'm just grabbing a gold um, 
It's a gold heart from my stash. I'm just moving it so that I can close up that number 11 and I'm pulling off the twine here and I'm going to put it into the tag. Uh, I do end up covering up that big mistake that I've made on the tag there but I fiddle around a little bit moving all the rhinestones around. Just closing up my wood veneer box and moving it away. So I'm going to go down to, to pocket 16 now and work on that because I didn't know what to do with pocket 11. Uh, I grab out this heart punch from my stash. This is from Kmart. I don't know if they still sell these. I was there a few days ago and I don't remember seeing them. Um, but it was only like $5. So if they do still sell them, if you're looking for a one inch heart punch, it's a great place to go. It works perfectly fine. So I'm just cutting out a few um, pieces of a few hearts because I'm going to do like a, I'm going to do a stripe down the center of hearts that alternate with this uh, really cool like it's like a creamy starburst pattern the one that's in that left hand corner over there and then a gold foil paper I just alternate them um, gluing them down the bottom of each other and sticking one on top of the other I'm just sticking that down now with some double-sided tape the reason I decided to put it on that black one because I thought it contrasted really well and it really makes the um, the hearts pop. So I'm sticking down the uh, number 12 on top of it now and that pocket is more or less, it's done to a degree. I'm going to stick this 17 on top of this paper and then cut it out so that it would be different to the 15 because um, I didn't want it to look the same. The other one, I know you could see the background through it, so I thought a way to make them look different would be to glue it behind it and then I'm cutting it out. Remember that you don't have to use embellishments just as they are at face value. You can cut them in half, you can use them for something else, you can cover half of them up. Doesn't matter, guys. You can do what you want. It's your stash. You paid for it. Use it how you want to use it. So here I am grabbing some, uh, this is the Journal Studio of Heather Pad. I was looking for a, another tag. I'm going to use this Oh Hello There because I'm thinking of it as like a Oh Hello There Day 17. <laughs> that was the idea that I had anyway. I kind of do that in my project life as well, but that's another story. Here I am cutting down this piece of ephemera because it was a little bit too big for what I needed it for. I liked how it um, I liked how it contrasted well with that black mason jar that I was using and then also contrasted really well with the copper um, embellishments. I've got that tag up there on day 10. It doesn't stay so don't worry about it. I thought to myself oh I can put two tags next to each other. I couldn't do it. Two tags just for me I don't like putting them together. I've grabbed a gold foiled doily from an ephemera pack. I think it's from the reject store and I'm going to layer this cluster on top of it. Then I'm going to stick it down onto the page protector. That's the main embellishment cluster part of that pocket done. I've picked up the tag and I've decided to move it again and then I put it back down and I know it doesn't stay there. Then I tried to pull 11 up because I thought oh I'll use it on that day the idea was that I wanted to cover up what day 10 was because I couldn't wrap it um because it wouldn't fit in the pocket if I wrapped it so I wanted to cover it up as best as possible but the tag wasn't going to work so here I am just gluing the 17 underneath and I've decided to commit with it down onto number 17 there was my head I was just trying to make sure that I could get all of the hot glue out but that is that tag done I then stick it down with the hot glue and I will eventually put some twine in the top of it that's that pocket done as you can see I don't have my numbers all of the center they're kind of some of them are in the center some are in the top half of the pocket some of them in the bottom half some of them are to the left some of them to the right I like how it gives some contrast across the page it's not all just dead center if you like that sort of thing and you want a very symmetrical layout then that's fantastic I wanted a very 
non-symmetrical. I wanted nothing to look the same. I wanted every day to be a new fun pocket surprise. So I just added some twine and this one I decided to staple it so it would be different from day 11. And I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do. This is a sticker book from the reject store. I think I do end up using a sticker from it. I can't remember. Hmm. I'm finding out with you guys what's happening. I think I grabbed the cheer. Yes, I do. So it's 13 sheer. For that pocket, I'm going to just stick it straight down. I think I add a little bit of um, hot glue on it, or maybe I don't. I just stick it. These stickers are very sticky, so um, I'm hoping in transit this cheer will not fall off. The um, On top of the black, it's all gold foil. It's not really showing up on camera very well, but you can see it in person. It's all gold foil. The only thing that I did was that I didn't want to have um, like copper in belt, like a copper number where the 13 and the 16 are both copper. I sort of stuck to copper foil, whereas when I have gold glitter, I went with gold foil. So I'm putting a bit of a double, sorry, I'm putting some foam tape on that embellishment to stick it down. I liked having the embellishments kind of puffy on this one. Because it just was, this pocket really was hard for me to decorate. I find Christmas things hard for me to decorate anyway because it's something you only do, you know, once a year. So you get out of practice of it. Pocket 10 is something very exciting. I had this um, piece of packaging sitting on my desk and I had a brilliant idea to make it a shaker pocket. So I'm going to make a sequence mix and I'm going to put it in... I'm going to put the number 10 on top of it and that is going to be uh, what is covering up my little um, my little prezi that's in day 10. So I'm sticking the number 10 down and then I'm going to grab some sequins from my stash and seal it with hot glue. I initially was going to put some paper in there. I think I do end up putting some paper in. Yep, I'm going to trim this down and slide it in. I've also got a sticker from that uh, reject store sticker book that I have stuck on the outside of the pocket. These are some sequins from my stash. Um, it's a whole bunch of... Uh, I put the gold ones in and I also put that sort of colourful mixture down the bottom in as well. And I also think I put some silver ones in. Yes, I do. Once I've done that, I'm going to hot glue it onto the pocket. And that will be that one done. So here I am just grabbing out um, a tiny word sticker from my stash. This is the Tim Holtz Small Talk. This is where I got to the point in the pockets where I just like to add little embellishments everywhere. So I'm going to add some word stickers. These are not a Christmas word sticker, but I was looking for ones that sort of had the words uh, like believe in it or joy in it. Things like that. And then I also think I do grab some phrase stickers out of the Christmas sticker book that I have. I wanted to use the black ones because I don't get to use the black tiny word stickers very often. Um, I think I might use a white one. I'm not sure. I've grabbed one. Yep, I'm going to stick that one right down the bottom. And as you can see on pocket 11, I have covered the hole that I punched with a rhinestone. So, you know, if you make a mistake, guys, you can always cover it up. If you learn anything from this video, you can always cover up a mistake that you make, so don't worry about it. I'm just grabbing a few um, wood veneer pieces from my stash. Every wood veneer I have is from eBay. Fantastic place to get wood veneer. I think you can also buy them on AliExpress. Um, it's good because you can get a whole bunch for cheap. I'm going to stick those down with the hot glue and then... I'm going to just quickly decorate the white ruffle on the side. So I've got these two. Um, they're like a hessian flower. And then I'm going to stick the word celebrate on there. When I was decorating the ruffle pa packages on all of them, I just decided to make them kind of a neutral thing. Um, but that's this pocket done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got a close up for you here. If you did, um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you really liked it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.